Hi everyone, so today we are going to be learning the inverse of what you did yesterday. So we are subtracting decimals today. So the first thing I would like you to do is have a go at the flashback 4. So pause this video, have a go, and then we will go to the answers once you have finished. Okay, so from your learning yesterday, you should be able to add together 0.3 and 0.5 to give you 0.8. Number two is a little bit trickier because we need to read the question carefully. So it says write 68 over 200 as a percentage. However, we know that we can't do that straight away because percentage means out of 100, not out of 200. So I need to make my fraction be over 200. So I need to divide it by two. So to do so to get 100, I need to divide 200 by 2, which would give me 100. And what I do to the top, I need to do, sorry, what I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. So I need to do 68 divided by 2, which would give me 34. So the fraction that I would be left with would be 34 over 100, which I know would give me 34% because I've got 34 per the 100 I have. And then round 6.43 to the nearest tenth. So if you use a number line on the left, you would have 6.4. On the right, you would have 6.5. And then you could plot this number and you would know that 6.43 is closest to 6.4. So rounded to the nearest tenth, the answer would be 6.4. And number four, the last one is a little bit tricky as well. Some of you might have done five subtract two however that's not what the question is asking for it's asking you to do two subtract five so you are going to move into negative numbers so if you take a number line and you plot two and you jump five spaces to the right so towards and past zero you would get to 0.3 sorry not 0.3 minus three so your answer is minus three okay so let's move on to today's learning so yesterday you used these bars and you joined them together. However, today you are not going to do that. You are going to use this bar to, you are, sorry, you're going to take away this bar from this bar to give you the answer. You're going to subtract. So as you can see here, the orange bar, which represents 0.3, has been put on top of the green bar, which represents 0.7, to show us how much of the green bar we would have left. So we can see that we have subtracted 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So that has now gone. We don't need to think about this now. Now we need to think about then what's left of our green bar. So I have got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So I've got 0 0.4 left. So this section of my bar is now worth 0.4. So 0.7 subtract 0.3 equals 0.4. Okay. And then yesterday you looked at these as well. So this is a part whole model. Yesterday you were looking for the whole. However, today we've got the whole. So we are looking for one of the parts. Okay. So. When we subtract, we use the largest number first. So I have got eight hundredths. Okay. And to find out this part, I need to subtract 0 0.02. So I have got two hundredths. Okay. So if we do two subtract, sorry, eight subtract two, we would have six hundredths left and then we would need to write this as a decimal so we know we've got no ones we've got no tenths and we have six hundred and we have six hundredths so my answer would be 0 0.06 and you could use what you learned yesterday to see if your answer is right you can use the inverse to check your answer so if i took 0.02 and I added 0.06 okay 
I would do 2 add 6, which gives me 8. I have 0 add 0, which is 0. I have 0 add 0, which is 0. And not forgetting my decimal point, which lines up with where I started. So we can see that our answer is correct. Okay. Now we are going to use a place value grid to help us find out 0 0.35 subtract 0 0.12. So before we use column method, we are going to use a place value grid. So we are going to take a line and we are going to do this to help us. So we know when we subtract, we start on the right. So if I first line up my numbers, which will help me a little bit more. So I've got 0 0.35, I've got 0 0.12, okay? So I'm doing 5 subtract 2. So if I go to my hundreds, which is this column here, so I'm going to subtract 2 from my 5, okay? Which leaves me with 3, okay? Then I've got three tenths take away one tenth. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to take off one of my tenths, which leaves me with two. And then I've got zero subtract so zero, which we know is zero. So I've got zero here and my decimal point here. So we can see the answer to this question is 0.23 nice and easy so you can do it the same way you would do column but you are just crossing off in the correct area of your place value grid okay this time we are going to use the column method along with the place value grid okay so as you can see we have lined the numbers up so i've lined the hundreds up i've lined the tenths up i've lined up my decimal point and I've lined up my hundred, not my hundreds, my ones column, okay? So to start, I'm going to do six, subtract one. So on my place value grid, I'm going to do six, subtract one, which would leave me with five. So I can put five there, and I can put five there. Then I'm doing two, subtract two. So one, two which has left me with nothing it's left me with zero in this column now okay and then i've got my ones column so i've got zero subtract zero there's nothing in there so i've got zero so my answer would be naught point naught five and there is my answer to naught point two six subtract 0.21 okay let's have another go so this time i haven't got enough to be able to do the subtraction straight away okay so this is where i'm going to have to do some exchanging of my numbers so my numbers are lined up i've got my hundredths my tenths my decimal point and my ones so we know that 0.1 or 1 tenth is equal to, sorry, let's write it another way, that 1 tenth is equal to 10 hundredths. And we know that from when we use our hundred grid, okay? We knew that 10 of those boxes equal to one row, okay? So what we need to do to work this out, so let's have a look. So I've got one subtract five. So if I went to my place value grid, there aren't enough to take five off. So I need to add some more in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange from the tenths. So I'm going to take one of those off and I'm going to move that over to here, but it's going to break down into some of these. Okay, so let's see. Let me get my circle. So I've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I can take my five off. So I've used one of the tenths, brought it over to the hundredths, which has given me ten extra hundredths to work with. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract five. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So in this column now, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six left over. Okay, so I've got six in my hundredths column. And then up here, what I would do is it's similar, it's the same as when we do it with um, non decimal numbers. I would have to cross the three out, I would put a two above it. I would carry the 1, which would give me the 11 that I had down here, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then I would do 11, subtract 5, which would leave me with 6. So it's very similar to what we would normally do, okay? But you can see exactly what is happening here. So then I'm going to do 2, so I've not got 3 anymore, I've got 2, subtract 1, so I'm going to take my line again i'm going to subtract one from my two tenths which would leave me with one and i've got one up here because two take away one is one and then zero take away zero is zero so my answer is 0 0.16 so hopefully that has helped you with taking away when you have to exchange with the decimals okay so today you are on week, summer week one, lesson two, subtracting decimals with one, within 100. Silver is questions one to five. Gold is questions six to nine. Platinum is on the next page. And I have also put the answers on the last page as well for you. OK, so once you finish platinum, you can scroll down and your answers are there to mark. There is a learning by questions for all children. Please let Mrs. Willis and I know if you've got any problems or you need help with anything, and we will try and help you the best that we can. Thank you. Bye.